Welcome back to wagertalk.com. I'm Marco D'Angelo joined with Brian Leonard and Scott Spreitzer. This is the videos you wait for, the best bets part one. I'll be back with my best bet and Ralph Michaels on another video. Brian, we're going to start with you, and you're going to take a look at uh, action on Saturday, Penn State and Michigan State. Michigan State's played well uh, against the two big boys in the conference, but it's definitely been a down year for them. And Penn State has a little something to play for. What are you looking at? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, you pointed it out. They played great against Michigan, played great against Ohio State. But for some reason, when I'm watching the television shows and they're talking about Michigan State, they forgot to mention over the last five weeks they lost to Illinois and Maryland. So what kind of team is this? Now, we had said early in the season, I thought they were going to be pretty good. I was wrong. Yeah. I admit I was wrong. Um, I'm not a believer in Michigan State at this point. You take a look at the line of scrimmage. The last seven games, Penn State is up 12 sacks. For the season, Michigan State is down 11 sacks. They're going to be beat at the line of scrimmage here. And not only does Michigan State have something to play for, they got a little bit of revenge here. Uh, the last two years, they lost by 39 and 27 against this team. I think Michigan State is a fraud. I've changed my mind a few times. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But just because they played those teams tight doesn't mean that they're not a good, that they're not a bad team. When you lose to Illinois and you lose to Maryland, you're not a good team. Penn State right now, I'd take Penn State over anybody. Penn State, Wisconsin in the Big Ten. I think right now if they were to play Michigan, Ohio State, I think they could beat them. Are they, these are teams right now that uh, with Penn State, they're one of the best teams in the country playing right now, and we're, ga we're gambling on a game right now, and I like Penn State. I think Use the cheap. old cliche. They're definitely peaking at the right time right. for sure. It, it's hard to believe. You remember back, like, what was it, the second or third week of the season? No, it was against the week before they played Ohio State and got lucky. Yeah. You know, that's they were going to kick the coach out. Yeah, out well, when they lost the pit, <laughs> uh, Franklin was sure. on. They were yeah. lining it up to fire Franklin. It's yeah. a pretty good team. Yeah. A good over oh, yeah, it's a good team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. great yeah. over team. A couple of dollars made on pit over this year. Yeah. 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 Which I told you early in the season on the radio show, they can't stop the pass. That's true. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. All right, so, Brian, you've got Penn State laying the points. And uh, what do you got going this week at Wager Talk? Actually, I started putting my plays up for the weekend. I do have a 5% play I love on Friday. Uh, and since we have such a special deal, not only do you get the 5% play with the guarantee, you also get, and I, not, I better ask you, yeah. is that still guaranteed? With, with the, being the $5, uh, it won't have the guarantee. It won't have the guarantee. Because okay. you're only paying but still, five you're, get, you're getting, you're getting, play a, five, you're getting a $30 play for you're 5 bucks. You're getting it for $5, and I love this play, really. All right, check that out on uh, Friday from Brian. And, Scott, we're going to go to you, and you're going back to your old stomping grounds. Uh, we're taking a look at Nebraska at Iowa. What are you looking at there? You know, I love when you see lines drop, and Iowa was a three-point favorite as of Wednesday morning. They go down to one and a half or Tuesday night, and I think Iowa's the side here, and I'm not a steam chaser. And there's one particular – line site, line provider out there, or if you go and you check out the steam chasers, yeah. the big steam moves, yeah. they're hitting about 40% this year. And so I kind of like to go against that, you know, when the line starts dropping, because if you're chasing a team that's dropped a couple of points after it's dropped a couple of points, you're not playing what the Sharps were playing. So yeah. you got to remember that. Oh, no. uh, it's all about numbers. Anyway, I like Nebraska's grit this season for the most part. Uh, they still have a quarterback who's not of championship caliber, even when he's healthy. Talking about Tommy Armstrong, great heart, great kid, the whole shebang. But when it comes to the actual talent that he has behind center, you know, this isn't what Nebraska had when they were, you know, big time football. Uh, makes too many bad decisions, throws too many picks, all the ways, you know, kind of brought that down a little bit this year as far as the bad decision making is concerned. He's got the hammy problem. He's listed as questionable. Then you got Riker Fife, a walk on way back when, who's now in his senior season who waits till his senior season, almost the end of the season, to get his first start. Actually played pretty well against Maryland, though, but played pretty well, but he injures his wrist. He's listed as questionable. Either one of you guys got any eligibility at all, you might want to call <laughs> Mike Riley because it's almost that bad right now. But as far as Fife is concerned, yeah, he had a good game against Maryland, but he was 7 for 24 this season going into the Maryland game. So you're talking about an offense, if Tommy Armstrong plays and his hammy is banged up or, or is a little bit sore, He's not going to be able to run their typical offense with that. Riker Fife can't run the typical offense when he's healthy. That's not a knock against him. That's just the facts. He had a good game against Maryland. I don't expect it against the Iowa defense. I think Iowa's the side here, guys. Uh, I think the Hawkeyes will show up. It's the Nebraska rivalry game. And they've been playing better football 
a little bit of the last couple of weeks as we saw against the Michigan Wolverines. So they've had a couple of nice home games in the last couple, and I think they're going to catch Nebraska here. They're laying one and a half as we speak, and I think Iowa's the right side to get this job done by about 7 to 10 points, probably like a 23 to 16 type of game. All right, and Scott, I know you've got a big play going on. Uh, it's Friday. It's your 6% college game of the year. And uh, you're, in, what, 19 and 6 a lifetime on your game of the year, buddy? Uh, yeah, if uh, they ask, if they watch the NFL video, they're going to hear, you know, Brian uh, asking how long I've been doing this. Well, it's 25 I years, 19 25. plus 6. <laughs> and going all the way back to the Stardust line of the early 90s when we started releasing games of the year. 19 and 6 lifetime, and with our 6% plays at Wager Talk, we just jumped on Wager Talk mm. a year ago. We're 3 and 0. 100% with these 6% plays. Last year we won with uh, Temple over Memphis, a November game when Temple rocked them 31 to 12. And that's what we like to do. And we felt Memphis was kind of, you know, teetering on that dead team list that I like to call it. And we like to go against dead teams. It's, it's going to be a situation where one team is going to be in blowout mode. And I think they get the job done in this particular game. And we'll hopefully go to 20, 20 and 6. And again, it's a 6% play. We'll look to go to 4 to lifetime, 20 and 6 lifetime with games of the year. You could tell them about the great deal they can get. You can buy it by itself for 40 bucks or... Marco? Or, yeah, we've got that deal with the Thanksgiving weekend. Get the weekend all access. Normally it's $69. You can get it for just $39 this week. That would include Scott 6%. Now we this game, it's on Friday. Friday is the game, yeah. We do have the Friday $5 special, but it does not include a 6% game of the year because at Wager Talk, we only allow our cappers one six percent per sport unlike a lot of our competitors that have games of the year almost every single week we don't do that so it's not fair for our cappers to have them with their one game uh not you know sell it for five dollars so if you buy it individually it's forty dollars but it has a 200 percent guarantee or the best deal going Get it for $39, guys. That's actually less than the cost of the game. And you get all that itself. college basketball, too, and we've been red yeah. hot in college basketball. This so guy, far. November college basketball, uh, definitely, uh, you know, I'll have to tag along some of those, uh, get a little extra money for the stocking for Christmas. Put the pressure on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, guys, check it out. He's Scott Spreitzer. He's Brian Leonard. Uh, we'll be back with more videos. We'll have Ralph Michaels here. We're going to do a couple college and NFL games. That's up next at Wager Talk.